Let's have a look at using markers in noise tools to add some additional information. Let's switch off the blue LAF max time history or any other channels you might have on the screen that you don't need. Move to the left hand side, click and deselect the channels, in this case LAF max. We'll also switch off the audio markers, so right click on the graph, view settings and disable to show audio markers. What we have on the screen now is just the LEQ time history. At the bottom of the screen we can clearly see the blue markers which indicate where the user has pressed start and stop with the remote control. Here we can see a spike however and there's no corresponding audio recording. So let's drag over this, right click and zoom. In the middle of the screen we can see this highlighted section so again we'll highlight it with our mouse drag over and this time we'll right click and use the mark function. When we do this a box appears and we can enter a name for this marker. In this case, let's call it dog barking, and we'll select the red color. We can enter additional notes at the bottom of the screen. So for example, a more detailed description of the noise, any comments you want to add to it can be entered here. We can also manually adjust the time and date of the start and end of this period. Once we're happy with it, we'll click the OK button. And you can see here on the screen, the section is now marked in red. If we move the mouse over the red marker, we now get some additional information shown. Not only do we get the overall LEQ, but we also get the LEQ for that noise source. Let's zoom out with our mouse so we get more information on the screen. And we can highlight another section. Drag, right click and mark. If you want to use the same noise, select it and click OK. And this will mark it as dog barking. And again, if we move our mouse over, we'll get the information about the individual markers. We'll zoom out a little bit further using our mouse wheel until we find another noise source to highlight. We can zoom along using the scroll bar at the bottom. We can see clearly here audio recordings have been shown on the screen. Again we'll select this section, right click and mark it and use dog barking. But we're going to enter some different notes about this particular noise source. Once we're happy with that, click OK and the section's marked in red. We'll right click and use zoom all, and we can clearly see the three markers that we've added previously. If we hover our mouse over them, we'll see the data at that point, plus also the data for the overall marker itself, with the name and any information we've added alongside the noise levels. Hover over the time history button and select markers. What we'll see now is a table showing the three dog barking markers that we've just added. And we can see the start date, start time, end date, end time, the label and the LEQ for each of those markers. What we can also do is add those three markers together using the Combine Similar Markers button. If we tick the button, the software takes the three markers, adds them together, calculates the overall duration, the number of markers and gives us the overall LEQ for those three individual mark sections. At the bottom of the screen we now see some additional information, the remainder and the total. The software takes the measurement and removes the marked sections from it, giving us the remaining information. It also gives us the total information for those markers that are combined together. This can be useful, for example, if we're highlighting sections as when a fan is switched on and off, and the software can add the markers together, giving us the overall values for both them when the fan is on and when the fan is off. Let's get back to our time history graph. We'll add some additional data channels into the display, so we'll click on the left-hand side to open the data selector window. We'll add the LAF max, and we'll also add in the overall LAF 90 values. If now we go back to our markers table, we'll see that those additional data values are now available. So for the dog barking, we've got three markers, the LEQ, the LAF max, and the calculated LAF 90 for all of those markers. We also see at the bottom of the screen, in the remainder and total section, there's additional data channels for our combined markers. If we uncheck the combined markers button, we see each individual occurrence of our dog barking marker with the LAEQ, the LAF max and the LAF 90 calculated. Let's go back to the time register graph. We can see the mark sections highlighted in red. What we can also do now is switch on the audio markers. We'll right click, view settings, so it's show audio markers and click OK. Now if we go back to the time history markers table, we'll see not only the red markers that we've created ourselves, 
but also all the occurrences of the audio markers. This is when the user pressed the start and stop button on the remote control. We can at this point export audio directly and we can export this information into a table. This can be very useful if you want to export multiple measurements. We'll jump back to the time history graph. You can at any time switch on and off the audio markers and the user markers by right clicking, view settings and switching off the audio markers or the user markers. So if we switch off the user markers we just have the audio recordings and also if we switch those back on and switch off the audio markers we'll just see our user markers that we've enabled. Cirrus Research PLC, dedicated to noise measurement.